I'm Christy Zhou. I Hong Kong is my hometown, and it's an international city, but it's a concrete jungle. Why I have to tell you this? Because this is important to me. Whenever I have any chance to merge in nature, it's my precious moment. That's why you can find in all of my works, even these four years, it's all about nature, about forms and texture. As you can see my works, I reflect the causes and consequences of the human intervention to the nature. My works are used uh, mixed media and ceramics. I use the landscape as the main structure. And also I use the natural elements like um, stones, like sand, like glob. A lot of uh, very simple elements. By, but I mix it with uh, some kind of industrial waste to represent the contrast of the before and after. For the circle one, I use the wood uh, mold and also the metal frame, metal circle to be the mold. And I put the clay one layer after another layer. So you can see from my progress photo, I use the, um, the heavy things to pat it and make it stick together. And why I do this? Because I want to simulate the natural, the natural texture of the, of the rock and the landscape. Life is a circle and the circle, within the circle, there are many uh, energies. And the broken circle is like the story, the next chapter. Because the human intervention, we break the whole system, we break the circle. So you will see uh, the ecosystem is in balance and a lot of disasters and uh, happening. Uh, I'm not uh, too negative. That's why in my work you can see I have the contrast. One is dead, one is life. Because I don't want people to feel I'm dying, I'm dying, the earth is dying. No, we can coexist. That's the message. When I first came to Canada, the first day I went to the Scudder Museum, I told myself one day I will have my exhibition there. <laughs> so it's coming true. I've always had a interest in like the human body and how I can how I can make it manifest in clay form. I didn't want to go straight to sculpture because um, I really enjoy the, the functional, the aspect of functional work, but um, I always like was trying to find a realm in between functional and sculptural. So the furniture has really pulled that together for me because I can still have that full scale of what I've been looking for with like my legs and like the crazy things that I'm doing, but it's still functional. It's not purely sculptural. It's, it's not really about planning for me. It's just going with how I feel, how much the clay can take at that time. In my piece, Wild Raspberry, I put holes in the clay so that I could put yarn out as the leg hair. And for me, the, those pieces of yarn imitate like the coils that it took to build the leg. I want these pieces to empower people to make decisions outside of like Western societal standards. So for me, a personal one is like growing out your armpit hair, or your leg hair. Just make it known that you can do, like live your life the way you want, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'm really fascinated by the way that death is portrayed through beauty and typically like through paintings and textiles and Victorian works and stuff like that. So I've always really been interested in kind of those concepts and ideas and figuring out how I can translate them into what I want to say, into what I want to show, and to illustrations and things that I'm interested in, and seeing how I can talk about these tragic things and these tragic ideas of um, death and loneliness and heartbreak and just like these stories around my animals and my work and putting them onto pieces and seeing how I can like get people to translate that and get people to view it as maybe their own stories or view it as what I'm trying to tell them. I'm really interested in florals and I'm really interested in pattern and watching the way 
that things interact and the way that plant life interacts with animal life and how they interact with each other. There's a lot of symbolism within um, the imagery and the patterns. I look a lot at um, medieval imagery and um, like Victorian symbolism and stuff like that and I try to take the plant life and um, just like the flowers and the way that they're presented onto the thing to tell different stories and to represent different things. So like on on the rabbit, the forget-me-not rabbit, like I have the ropes and all of the forget-me-not flowers as well as zinnias and stuff like that which all represent different things and they all tell a story within within this piece but people people can see that if they have some knowledge around it but they can also just look at it and see it as this object that is just I guess beautiful in a way you finish Sheridan and you get to celebrate with your community of artists that you've been growing with for the past four years and be exposed to and be welcome to the greater ceramic environment and the community like through the gardener and to have that support and to have that family and stuff like that it's just it's really exciting and I see it more exciting than graduation like I see that as something that I've been striving for and yeah it just it just makes me so happy <laughs>